Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are we? Happy Monday. Or, as I always say, whatever day it is with you, happy Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, or even the weekend. Um, this week, what I want to share with you is a talk that I gave recently in a group that I am in on the vortex of emotions and how, when you feel yourself getting down the vortex to the bottom emotions, how to bring yourself back up to the top ones, which is the place that we want to be. And I want to share that with you because it's very important and it's massively relevant and um, everybody wants to be up here and we don't want to be down there. And some of the pointers that I had to share were very relevant and easy, 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 easy. And that's what I'm all about. So if that sounds good to you, stick around. Now, before I share that, however, I just want to say hello. I'm Jane. For those of you who don't know me, I am so glad you're here. It's lovely that you have found me. And um, if you want to stick around, please like and subscribe because that way you get notified whenever I upload, which I do every single Monday, you know. In, in general, every single Monday, might take a week off for Christmas, but that's pretty much it. Um, and I love that you're here. And however you found me, I'm really, really glad that you did. I share tips on mindfulness and manifestation and all of those good things here on the channel. And I always have some good little techniques and tips and things for you. And it's always easy. It's always easy. I'm not into making it hard. You know, I am massively into making my life easy and being able to stay in the kind of the you know the high energy good vibe state easily without any kind of strain or push or any of that stuff I don't want to do any of that anymore I just want ease and flow and grace and that's what I'm all about so if that sounds good to you please stick around um as I said I'm going to share with you the talk that I did on the vortex of emotions and how to stay up at the top of that in a high vibe state and feel good and how easy it is to actually feel good. Everybody makes this stuff hard and it isn't. Um, it's actually really easy when you know how, when you know what to look for and when you use your natural wiring, which is what this talk is actually about. So I'm going to share that with you. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it from me. Let's get in to the talk. Anybody who knows about Abraham Hicks, who knows about law of attraction, who knows about manifestation will have heard about the vortex of emotions, the scale of emotions. You've probably all seen that, that image where you've got those two funnels. You've got one scrolling up that way and you've got one scrolling down that way. And on this side, you're moving up to all the good stuff, the stuff that we want to live in all the, all the time. And on this side, you've got the stuff that kind of drags you down, the things that you want to stay away from. So at the bottom scale, you might be feeling sadness. You might be anxious, unloved, unlovable, anger, rage, um, hate, fear, all of those really negative, horrible, sort of real low vibration feelings sort of coming up to the middle of the vortex. There could be things like doubt, um, rejection, loneliness, insecurity, um, disappointment, pessimism. And then you kind of get to the neutral middle where you've got quiet and still and neutral even. And then you start getting up to the good things where you get happiness and you get joy and you get encouragement, faith, um, positivity, and then up, 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 empowered, loved, worthy, light. You could just be a light worker, light-hearted, inspired, confident. Um, what else is the very, very, very top is joy and excitement, um, confidence, uh, courage, spiritually connected, all of those amazing things, which is what I try and do here on this channel. So we want to move you from the anger, the sadness, the loneliness, the pessimism, to the optimism, the joy, the happiness, the, the spiritually enlightened, and all of those good things that make you just feel amazing up on the top level of the vortex. 
And a lot of people really overcomplicate this. A lot of people think that, you know, how can I be up there? What does it take to get up there? Literally, it's easy. It's just about doing things in your day that you love. Instead of doing things that you don't enjoy or things that, that make you feel low and heavy, do things that make you feel light and excited and joyful. And I've talked about in the past, I've talked about the clues for this are always going to be in your childhood. Um, you know, if you, it's your natural wiring, I call it natural wiring. Um, I don't know why, but I do. I think it's because it's something that's naturally within us. We've been doing it since we were a kid. So it's that thing that makes you feel incredible. And you've done it throughout your childhood. So it could be reading books, it could be going for a walk, it could be writing, it could be um, dancing, it could be all kinds of things, but also taking that through to your life today. Energy work, right? Meditation, eating clean, wholesome foods. How good does it feel? I have a massive sweet tooth. I am that person who wants to eat all the cake, um, I look at the menus in restaurants and I'd rather have two desserts <laughs> than the dessert and the, and the meal. So I am that person. I am that person that wants that stuff. So how good does it feel when you take the guilt-free option of a natural raw dessert and you see it in front of you and it just looks amazing and you want to eat it and that makes you feel on such a high. Or if it's not a raw dessert, it could be something like an acai bowl. They, I have to say, have been my absolute favourite thing the last few months. Um, there's a place called Barefoot Eatery in Christchurch who do the most delicious the most delicious acai bowl um and so that has become like i literally it comes and it gets put down on the table in front of me or even prior to that like i know i'm going so i get excited because i'm going and i know i'm gonna have one and then i order it and then i sit at my table it's a bit like my burger story again in one of my previous videos i sit at my table and i salivate over the fact that this delicious acai bowl is going to be put in front of me and every time I have one they're different because they did put different fruits on it and they put different toppings on it and so I sit and I'm like oh what am I going to get today did I order the peanut butter am I going to get the homemade chocolate spread what fruit am I going to get on it what kind of muesli topping are they going to give me and it makes me happy it's real and then it gets put down on the table in front of me and I just look at it I just look at it in all its goodness and it just makes me feel good and I am instantly in joy and happiness and desire even because I want to eat this deliciousness that's been put on the table in front of me. So that's so, 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 so easy to get yourself into that state. Meditating for me is another one that really raises my vibration. I could get up in the morning and feel a bit low and a bit unconnected and a bit disconnected. And yet if I sit in meditation, even just for five minutes, I get that endorphin rush of the connection, the spiritualness coming back and it just makes me happy. But the big one, the big one for me, <laughs> actually there's two, but yeah, yeah, we'll talk about them both together. Singing and dancing are the two for me. And I remember this as a child when I go back to that natural wiring. I'm a terrible dancer. I'm an all right singer, but I'm not like, you know, I'm not, I'm not recording artist level or go and do karaoke level even. Um, but I just love it. I love it so much that music and song can instantly lift my mood, instantly. It doesn't matter how sad I am, even a sad song, as stupid as that sounds, and it invokes memories in me. And I remember places that I were and things that I was doing and, you know, being a football fan like you'll never walk alone the minute i hear that song no matter where i am i instantly get that togetherness that empowerment feeling that passion 
of sitting in Anfield and watching my team and the whole collective love feeling. It's such an amazing thing what music can do for you. And so I will quite often have, I remember as a child, I would dance to Madonna. I would pretend I was Madonna in my front room. And there was a rug in front of the fire it was a big fluffy white rug, I remember it. And I'd have her, I'd have the videotape, that's how old I am, I'd have the videotape go in on the TV and the fluffy rug was my stage. And everything around the fluffy rug was the audience. And so I had to stay on my fluffy rug and I'd be doing all the moves and I'd be singing. Don't do that so much now, but what I do do is I perform in the car instead. So I will put the music, when I'm by myself in the car, people who pass me must think oh my god what on earth what on earth is going on in that car because i'm singing i'm it's loud i'm i'm, I'm fist pumping i'm doing all of that but you know what i get out of that car and i feel incredible i feel incredible and it's those type of things you need to find what feels good to you and it's easy stuff it doesn't have to be hours and pages and lots of hand cramping journaling or sitting in a meditation for two hours or um, doing deep breathing exercises for 30 minutes. Those things are amazing if they make you feel fantastic. Well, just do them for five minutes if, they, if you want to get the benefits of them and still feel fantastic. You don't have to do things for hours and hours and hours and ends. Find, find the easy things. Find the things that have always been in your life, like the drawing, like the going for a walk in nature, like being by the sea, like dancing, like singing, like doing some craft work with your kids, painting, you know, all of those easy, even laughing, just laughing at something, anything, even yourself, instantly raises your mood. You cannot be sad and laugh. At the same, you cannot feel two emotions at the same time. So if you're laughing, you're happy. So just do some sunshine. Sunshine. It has the capacity to make you feel incredible. Just get outside. Just get, an, and even, even if you're in the middle of winter right now, get outside, wrap up warm, look at the blue sky which there quite often is in the middle of winter when it's a brisk cold day snuggle yourself up in your snood or your scarf and your woolly hat go for a walk and i promise you you will feel massively exhilarated even the cold has the capacity to do that for you just find some joy find some happiness raise your vibration, raise your energy, raise yourself through the vortex of emotion to the top. Don't be down here. Find something that puts you up here and do that thing daily. Because the more you can be up here, the more you're going to match the energy of the things that you want in your life, the quicker your manifestations are going to come into you and the more joy you're going to feel and the more things you're going to see to bring you more joy. And the more joy you see and the more joy you feel, the more you raise yourself up. And the more you raise yourself up, the easier it gets to stay there. So just find your own natural wiring for match your energy to what it is you want and watch all your manifestations come in watch it all happen just it's it's incredible once you do this once you find what it is and you make a point of doing it daily you literally can soar you can soar up that vortex and you can be up here and that is when all the magic happens and that's when life gets to be amazing so i hope you can see from that how easy it is to actually get yourself to the top of that vortex of emotions. I hope you found that really, really useful. Um, go now and have your own dance party. Go and stage your own concert. Get in the car, sing and do it to your heart's consent or whatever it is that makes you feel good. Go and read a book, go and do some colouring, go for a walk, go and play with your pets. Whatever it is, whatever it is, go do it because that will take you right up the vortex. And that, at the top, is where you wanna stay. So I hope you enjoyed that. That is all from me for this week. 
and I will see you next week with some more. Until then, have fun doing the things that you love and let's lift that energy. See you next week. Bye.